everybody, my name is Grizzly and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail, kind of like Sky does Minecrafts, um, or like the thumbnail of this video. So, first thing you want to do, file, new, um, name it whatever you want, tutorial, you want to have the width, 1080, height, 720, and resolution whatever you want I just kind of keep it like 300 and something and go ahead and hit OK so this is going to create the size of the um, thumbnail so like this is what the thumbnail size is uh, so next thing you want to do to make kind of the background that this guy has in his videos or just in this one you want to go up here to the color picker and pick two ones so you already have one as a uh, dark blue and black um, they look quite good together. You kind of want one that kind of merges into the other. I always like having the outside one is um, black. I think it looks nice. So you're going to go over here and hit the gradient tool. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to select this one. It's the second one in. It's a circle. Like if you hover over these, you can see linear gradient, radial gradient, angle, reflected, and diamond. So for this one, we're going to be using this, the radial. You're gonna pr you're gonna kind of find the middle wherever. Press and hold Shift, left click, drag up to about here, and let go. And that makes uh, the background kind of thing. Next thing that you're gonna want to do for a little bit more detail to ask because it's not just this. You want to go to your brush tool, and uh, you're gonna want to get like a splatter effect, which is what I have. See if you can see your splatter 59 pixels. You're actually going to want to bring that up a bunch more, actually. Um, it's like 400 or something. And then just kind of start, kind of use the same color, kind of outline around that, like that, and maybe even add a little bit more going on the outside, like that. Like that. So that's kind of how the detail is going to be looking of the background. You're going to come up here, you're going to do open, and you should have a file saved. Um, this one is actually going to be um, just a Minecraft PNG. You can find that. Just search Minecraft PNG and save it. And it should open up like this with a transparent background so you can drag it straight out uh, instead of having to do anything fancy with that. You want to come up here, hover over this while still holding left click, and just kind of drop it in. So it's going to be too big, so you're going to hit Control T, uh, Shift again, and size it down. Press and hold Shift so it doesn't go up and down or anything. So once you got that kind of wherever you want it, you got that. So there's the start of it. The next thing you want to do is you want to get a text um, called Adventurer. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so you're, what as I said is you're going to want to get a text. It's called Adventurer. Um, so the best place I like to find them is called thefont.com. It's this website. You can go up here. You can do adventure. I think it's actually just adventure. Yeah, it's just adventure. See, it's kind of like a. It's what Sky uses. So you're gonna want to hit download. See, I actually have it downloaded. Um, so once you have it downloaded, I'll see if I still have it here in my downloads. One sec. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but here's one of them. So basically, you get a zip file. And you want to find the true type font, open it up, and then just click install. And that's basically how you're going to do that. So once you have the text, go ahead and hit T. See, mine's already set to adventurer. Kind of put it in. So let's do Minecraft mini game. Game Monday. Let's do that. Let's do mini game Monday. Since you have that, you're going to do that again. You're going to have it overlapping just a little bit, not too much, but just enough. You want to right click on this, hit blending options, right, go down to gradient overlay, select this one. This one is orange, yellow, orange. You can select different ones like this, uh, but this is the one that Sky uses. If you guys are trying to make it look exactly like his, go ahead and use that. Uh, you can even do this, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, so it stands out a little more. Um, so the next one you're going to want to actually do is you want to go back to your web browser. You're going to want to do Minecraft 
dot nova skin dot m e. So that's going to bring you to this website called Nova Skin. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to search your username. So I search Grizzly HD. Uh, you can just click it and it'll select it, or you can use Steve or anything like that. And then you're going to want to go over here to change pose. I uh, will just use random poses. These are all generic ones that you can use, or you can uh, bend it yourself. So this is kind of a so you can just change it again. I think um, so. You kind of put it wherever we want, like that. Uh, you can make him hold stuff. So let's make him in his. Uh, can't remember what hand I did. Make him hold a fishing rod. So go ahead and hit fishing rod like that and sometimes it actually doesn't work but this one you can see it did it's right there it's quite difficult uh, see so you can do that or you can, uh, can oh crap I hate when I do that okay well if you ever do that just click that skin again go back to the gallery and hit skin um, and then you can have in this hand we can have him holding a can I'm wearing some boots I guess holding oh no 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 can't have that I want him to be holding a fish but I can't quite find it a raw fish there we go so once you have that I uh, go up here to um, there's a couple ones actually up here go ahead and hit save um, and then this is the screenshot. So you're gonna want to right click. Oh, <sighs> this it doesn't always work. You want to actually hit photo. Sorry. Right click on that. Save picture as. Save it wherever you want. I'll just save it to my desktop to make it a lot easier to find. Make sure it's saved as a PNG file. Go back into this. Do open. Go to wherever you saved it. Locate it and it's as easy as that you can just drag him in see he's in a couple of different poses um, anything like that really uh, so yeah hopefully this helped you guys um, neat way to make some thumbnails uh, using Nova skin so it's more 3d uh, with some arm bending even though this guy doesn't have any um, but thanks for watching uh, there is going to be a bigger machinima coming out Hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, wanting to say that, uh, just say. Oh yeah, sorry guys. And then you want to hit save as and save it. Make sure you save it to a PNG file or a JPEG. PNG is easier though.